Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Christmas being just two days away, we're bringing you some classic films which revolve around Jesus, his life, and the people he encountered. That next brings us a dazzling movie which is subtitled A Tale of the Christ. It is Ben-Hur, great film from 1959, directed by William Wyler, and about a man whose life was influenced and affected at many important junctures by Christ, although the man was unaware of who this powerful stranger in his life really was. Film went on to win a total of 11 Academy Awards, which was a record for 38 years, and is still a record which has never been topped, only equaled once, and that was by the movie Titanic in 1997. Now, with all of the success it's had, all those Oscars and the huge grosses at the box office, what's pretty much been forgotten is that when this movie Ben-Hur was made, it was a giant gamble, and the fate of the MGM Studios hung in the balance. It cost $12 million to make, and that amount of money had never been spent on a movie before. It meant that it would have to take in more than twice that amount to break even, and only one or two movies in history had taken in that much at the box office. If it failed, it would have been the end of MGM Studios, which was on very shaky financial footing at the time. But Ben-Hur, in 1959, went on to be a giant hit and saved the studio. Now, apparently, MGM is hoping that miracle is going to repeat itself. A remake is currently in the works, and Jack Houston, one of the grandsons of John Houston, has been signed to play the pivotal title character. I wish involved, all involved great luck on it because, oh boy, as you're about to see, William Wyler, Charlton Heston, and everybody involved in this movie set the bar very high with this 1959 version, including its super exciting chariot race that really has never been equaled. Here, with, complete with overture and intermission music, Ben-Hur, The Tale of the Christ.